With this video, we're going to discuss the TOK Prescribed Title number 4 for May 2025 examination session. Do the ever improving tools of an area of knowledge always result in improved knowledge? Discuss with reference to two areas of knowledge. This topic is actually very interesting and it is very easy to approach. Okay. And you know, with this prompt, there are two words or the two key points that you need to focus during the uh, developing process. They are ever improving and improved knowledge. Also, another thing that you have to focus is the, the word do. The question itself starts with the word do and it kind of tricks you into thinking, is this yes or no question? However, this is not definitely yes question. However, this is obviously a no question because the way we should approach this question is by developing the thesis. Um, improved tools do not always lead to improved knowledge in AO case and the correlation varies in strength and impact. That's the thesis that you should start uh, using first before developing the guide or the aim for your essay. Okay, let's, so let's re write it down here. So the thesis that you should use is that improved tools do not always lead to improved knowledge or in, in the area of the knowledge, so in an AOK, or you can say AOKs, uh, the correlation varies in strength and impact. That's what you should think before developing your aim for the essay. Okay, and also it says that discuss with the reference to two areas of the knowledge. So you have choice to choose which AO case that you want to choose, right? So when you're developing the aim for this essay, there are four ways to uh, develop your aims for this a essay. Okay, aim for this essay. The first way of is no correlation. So you're saying that uh, there are no correlation between the this ever improving tools and improved knowledge. The way second way of answering this question is, uh, there are some correlation. So there's a some kind, there's a some extent that uh, the ever improving tools are related to the the this like, improved knowledge. Okay, so some correlation. Third way of answering this question is an improved tool creates the groundbreaking knowledge. So means this improved tools, they don't always do that. However, it results in improved knowledge and it kind of benefits the human race and then the uh, different species in the world. So, you know, you can say something like that, right? Um, so created groundbreaking knowledge. So this is like, uh, may, maybe you can say many correlation here. Okay. And the last way of answering this question is there's, n there's no such thing as correlation. I mean, in fact, there's no such thing as health from the improved tools to improve knowledge, right? So you can always say that improved tools is like very similar to the way one, like, but way four is like, there's no correlation impact. In fact, the improved tools hindered a okay and then prevents improved knowledge. 
these are the four ways to answer this question. So you have to choose obviously one of them to answer this prompt, right? Okay, then now let's talk about the knowledge framework uh, that we're going to use for this prompt, right? So what the element of the knowledge framework that we're going to use for this uh, prompt is the method and tools. Because we are obviously discussing about the ever improving tools, right? So that's the reason why we have to use the uh, method and tools element of the knowledge framework. So you, when you're using this, you need to think about the focuses on exploring the method, tools, and practice that we use to produce knowledge and includes the building of the conceptual frameworks, the establishing of the transitions and practices, as well as the methodologies employed by the former disciplines, include the consideration of the cognitive and the material tools that we have available to help us in the pursuit of the knowledge and how these tools have changed as a result of the technological developments. Okay, so this is the, the knowledge framework that you have to use. Then let's talk about the introduction. Okay, so in the introduction, you're going to first start with the uh, interesting things about the prescribed title question. So think about something that is related to how humans have been introduced the law of the tools in knowledge acquisition and define the key terms in the title identify your own definition of the chosen vocabulary to support your approach to the arguments. So for this essay, define what tools is for you and for this essay. Okay, the definition or the key term that you have to identify is the tool. What does this mean for you? Right? Uh, what does this mean for this essay? And state your thesis statement. Answer is obviously no. But you know, to what degree? Yes, right? We know that. Uh, we already discussed it. So you need to identify how you will be answering your question. So choose from the, the four aims that we have discussed, right? Choose one of them. One of four aims. And give the reader a roadmap. Clarify for the reader how you're going to explore the essay question and which AO case you're using. Okay, this is important because the question says that you have to choose the two AO case. So you must identify the two AO case that you're using. And this will make it easy for the marker to know what to look for. Okay, and the suggestion here, I'm actually suggesting you to use the nature science and history as your AO case. Okay, since I'm telling you which AO case to use for this prompt, uh, you know, let's discuss a little bit about them, okay? So for this prompt, I'm actually telling you to use the natural science and history. And I'm pretty sure they are going to be a very strong choices. You know, a lot of your, you know, classmates will be choosing it. However, there will be a lot of examples to choose from, okay? Because they offer clear examples across the spectrum of the tool impact from the revolutionary to negligible, or even hindering, okay? So uh, if you, when you think about the natural science, the field has a numerous example of the tools that have both driven major discoveries like the microscope or the Large Hadron Collider or LHC, right? At times due to over-reliance on the technological findings without a uh, sort conceptual analysis, right? And also this AOK allows for a broad discussion on how scientific tools are instrumental, but not inferable in advancing knowledge, right? And also when you think about the history, this AOK illustrates that while tools like digital archives and forensic technologies provide better access to historical data, they don't always clarify complex narratives or improve our understanding of the events, right? It always depends on interpretation, okay? And these improved tools don't always equate to a clear truth. Highlighting the uh, nuanced relationship between tools and knowledge in this area, right? So these are just something to think about, right? Then let's talk about the 
TOK essay format for this prompt. You can always use that typical generic TOK format. However, since the, the prompt itself is a little bit interesting, you know, we, it looks like the yes or no question, but it is a obviously has the answer as no, but we are discussing it to what extent. So we can actually follow this format. Okay, we can do introduction and then present first, say okay, and discuss to what degree tools improve knowledge and how tools don't improve knowledge, so limitation. And we can present a sub-conclusion. We can also do AOK2 and discuss to what degree tools improve knowledge and discuss the limitation, you know, how tools don't improve knowledge and then present sub-conclusion and finally conclusion. Okay, now let's talk about the conclusion. So obviously you're going to start by defining your answer and then you're going to say to what extent ever improving tools result in improved knowledge and the answer is obviously no but to what extent right so when you're explaining your answer or defining your answer you know you're going to either present there's no correlation or there's some correlation or there's and, and it actually benefits it or you can also say that there's no such thing as correlation and this improved tools even hinders the knowledge, the improved knowledge, right? Or research in improved knowledge. You can say it like that, right? So you have to think about that's something that you need to think about before even writing the conclusion, right? And you can conclude with your perspective based on your findings. You can make such as like statement or suggestion on how tools should be used softly to maximize their potential and finally always answer the prompt then discuss a lesson point or takeaway that you have gained by working on this prompt okay okay finally let's talk about the examples of the natural science so the first example is the hubble space telescope we all know that the hubble space telescope revolutionized our understanding of the universe right and then the second one is Crips scene editing technology. And third one is the Large Hardened Collider and Weather Controlling Cloud Seeding uh, Program. You know, that we use these days to control our rain system, you know, or the droughts, right? And then for the history, uh, you can use examples such as the Rosetta Stone and the Asian languages and carbon dating in archaeology and digital archives and historical research. Okay, so that's it for this video and I will come back with the, the next title.